Polls will open for Kansas City voters to decide their next mayor, Jolie Justice or Quentin Lucas. And the 11th hour push is filled with new controversy after a surprising text message went out to many voters. 41 Action News reporter Jordan Betts talked with both candidates about this text message. So what's your name? I'm Quentin. I'm Lucas. Nicole. Very it's nice go time Nicole. for Quentin Lucas. Do you know who you're voting for yet? In Jolie Justice. We've been living in here um, in this house for around 13 years. Oh, really? Okay. Justice door knocking, looking for last minute votes. I'd be honored to have your vote. Lucas talking to voters on Saturday. The candidates have thrown a few punches at each other and it continues. People across the city got this text on Saturday saying, oh my gosh, did you see this? Jolie Justice has gotten negative and desperate. I'm disappointed. Attached was a picture of a recent ad. It's unfortunate that, that there had to be that sort of kind of spam negative texting that was happening. Justice says she didn't receive the text. My wife did. She forwarded it to me and I said, I don't understand what this is. And she explained that she had gotten a, a spam text. And then, of course, moments later, all of my friends started texting to me as well. So she is just focused on her campaign, not the text. You know, I, I can't speculate on where any of these things come from. All I'm doing is running my own race and I'm proud of the race I'm running. Quentin Lucas spoke up and says this is not his team's doing. I completely condemn negative attacks, um, those that have come at me, those that might have come at Jolie lately, um, and I've been, been disappointed by some of the negative tenor. His campaign manager sent us this text. He said it's being sent to voters. The text says Lucas is wrong for the city. I guess sometimes in politics, you make a vote or you make a choice that gets people to want to destroy you. I think that's unfortunate. I think it's ridiculous, and I don't think it's what the people of Kansas City want. They have 90 seconds to answer. Both candidates agreeing on this. No matter the text, people will vote on who they think will make the city better. We're trying to make sure we get everybody out to vote. And I'm confident that our message is being heard and look forward to the results tomorrow. That was Jordan Betts reporting. A lot of questions asked today on whether this random text message is legal. It is to a degree, according to reports from NBC News. Federal rules prohibit unsolicited robo texting, but Many companies are creating software allowing someone to physically send the text message to large amounts of people skirting around the robo text rule.